many times I get this question about, oh, how did you develop your feed technique? Um, basically, what I did and the way I, I developed all my technique was um, starting from my hands and then applying the same concept to my feet because I found out that there are some similarities between our hands and feet motions. And so I tried to apply the concept and um, I found out that they actually work in the same way. So for how the drum technique has been developed, there are way more information about our hands than uh, about our feet technique. Um, actually, in my opinion, the feet technique has always been it's always been um, a taboo kind of argument for drummers. I studied all the hands technique and hands concept, and then I found out, again, there are some similar to similarities that I will show you now, and so that um, from there we can understand um, how conceptually we can translate all the, the study that we, do, that we did with our hands to our feet, and it will make so much more sense for us and for our practicing uh, and will really help to figure out how the lower part of our body works. So let's see. First thing that I've noticed was that the German grip was a wrist motion, exactly how the heel up is a uh, ankle motion. So my wrist and my ankle, in this um, in this situation, have the exact same role. I understand that the spring and the rebound also have the same exact role because the spring is throwing the beater back uh, at me, and the rebound is throwing the stick back. It's pulling, pushing the stick back up. Okay, so they're both helping me. Of course, the difference is that I have to hold the stick and I don't have to hold the pedal or the beater with my feet, but um, conceptually, same motion. Then from there I thought, okay, what about the French grip? Like, I'm never gonna use my toes as I use the fingers of my hand, but uh, I've noticed something else, that my wrist is completely isolated when I play finger motion, okay? My wrist is not moving. Same thing almost happens with the heel down, where my ankle, is, the motion is very limited. But let's say that the French grip is the only um, grip that we can't really translate to the feet because of the different way that we use the fingers on the upper part of our body compared to uh, the lower part. But then I tried with the push-pull where we have a down motion and then an up motion and we play a stroke on a down motion and a stroke on an up motion in this way as most of you already of course know. Same thing happens with the heel toe where there's a stroke with the heel and a stroke with the toe. 